Hello, and welcome to this video where we will be going through 20 practical questions and answers for the CBT Furuno FMD 3300 EC Disc. If you're looking to become familiar with this piece of equipment, then this video is for you. Question 1. What is an ECDIS? Answer 1. ECDIS stands for Electronic Chart Display and Information System. It is a navigation system that displays electronic navigational charts and additional navigational information on a screen. It is an essential tool for safe navigation at sea. Question 2. What is the Furuno FMD 3300 ECDIS? Answer 2. The Furuno FMD 3300 ECDIS is a type approved ECDIS that is widely used on commercial vessels. It is a reliable and efficient system that provides accurate and up-to-date navigational information. Question 3. What type of charts does the Furuno FMD 3300 ECDIS use? Answer 3. The Furuno FMD 3300 ECDIS uses electronic navigational charts ENCs, that comply with the International Hydrographic Organization IHO, standards. Question 4. What is the difference between ENCs and raster charts? Answer 4. ENCs are vector charts that are based on mathematical models and contain a vast amount of navigational information. Raster charts are digital versions of paper charts and do not have the same level of detail and accuracy as ENCs. Question 5. What is the purpose of the safety contour on the Furuno FMD 3300 ECDIS? Answer 5. The safety contour is a line on the chart that indicates the depth at which the vessel can safely navigate without encountering any underwater hazards. Question 6. What is the purpose of the alarm on the Furuno FMD 3300 ECDIS? Answer 6. The alarm on the Furuno FMD 3300 EC dice alerts the navigator of any potential navigational hazards, such as approaching shallow water, grounding, or collision with other vessels. Question 7. What is the purpose of the route planning function on the Furuno FMD 3300 EC disc? Answer 7. The route planning function on the Furuno FMD 3300 ECDS allows the navigator to plan and optimize the vessel's route based on factors such as distance, time, fuel consumption, and navigational hazards. Furuno FMD 3300 ECDS? Question 8. What is the purpose of the AIS function on the Furuno FMD 3300 ECDS? Answer 8. The AIS function on the Furuno FMD 3300 ECDS allows the navigator to receive and display real-time information about other vessels in the vicinity, including their position, speed, heading, and identity. Question 9. What is the purpose of the weather overlay function on the Furuno FMD 3300 ECDIS? Answer 9. The weather overlay function on the Furuno FMD 3300 EC DIS allows the navigator to display real-time weather data, such as wind speed and direction, wave height, and sea surface temperature on the electronic chart. Question 10. What is the purpose of the chart update function on the Furuno FMD 3300 ECDIS? Answer 10. The chart update function on the Furuno FMD 3300 SDIS allows the navigator to update the electronic chart with the latest navigational information, including new survey data, notices to mariners, and other relevant information. Question 11. What is the purpose of the user permits function on the Furuno FMD 3300 ECDIs? Answer 11. The user permits function on the Furuno FMD 3300 ECDIS allows the system administrator to manage and control the access rights and permissions of different users, ensuring data security and integrity. Question 12. What is the purpose of the safety settings on the Furuno FMD 3300 ECDS? Answer 12. The safety settings on the Furuno FMD 3300 XDS allow the navigator to customize the system's safety parameters, such as the safety contour, guard zones, and alarm settings, according to the vessel's specific requirements. Question 13. How do you perform a system check on the Furuno FMD 3300 XDS? Answer 13. To perform a system check on the Furuno FMD 3300 XDS, 
Go to the system menu and select the system check option. Follow the on-screen instructions to verify the functionality of various system components, such as sensors, alarms, and displays. Question 14. What actions should be taken if there is a loss of GPS signal on the Furuno FMD 3300 Exodus? Answer 14. If there is a loss of GPS signal on the Furuno FMD 3300 Exodus, the navigator should switch to an alternative positioning source, such as a differential GPS or another backup system, to ensure the continuity of accurate positioning information. Question 15. What is the purpose of the anti-grounding alarm on the Furuno FMD 3300 EC-DIS? Answer 15. The anti-grounding alarm on the Furuno FMD 3300 ECDS warns the navigator if the vessel's position is approaching or crossing a predefined safety corridor, indicating the risk of grounding. Question 16. How often should the electronic charts be updated on the Furuno FMD 3300 ECDS? Answer 16. The electronic charts on the Furuno FMD 3300 East Disc should be updated regularly, following the guidance of the chart provider and taking into account the vessel's trading area and chart coverage. Question 17. What is the purpose of the route monitoring function on the Furuno FMD 3300 East Disc? Answer 17. The route monitoring function on the Furuno FMD 3300 Ek Disc allows the navigator to track the vessel's progress along the planned route, ensuring that it stays within the defined safety parameters and providing early warning of any deviations. Question 18. Question 18. How does the Furuno FMD 3300 Ectius handle chart updates and permits? Answer 18. The Furuno FMD 3300 ECDS uses a USB drive to install chart updates and permits. The updated charts and permits can be loaded onto the system by inserting the USB drive into the designated port and following the on-screen instructions. Question 19. What is the purpose of the safety check function on the Furuno FMD 3300 Ectis? Answer 19. The safety check function on the Furuno FMD 3300 Ectis allows the navigator to verify the system's configuration and settings, ensuring that all safety parameters, alarms, and warnings are properly set up before departure. Question 20. What are the requirements for displaying electronic charts on the Furuno FMD 3300 Ectis? Answer 20. To display electronic charts on the Furuno FMD 3300 ECDS, the system requires a valid chart license, an up-to-date chart database, and a compatible display unit with the necessary hardware and software capabilities. Stay tuned for the next part, where we'll continue exploring this important navigation system. If you have any specific questions or topics you'd like us to cover, please let us know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.